Trans women, even when growing up, they're very effeminate, most usually. Because somebody was like equating it to Caitlyn Jenner as one. It was just like, but Caitlyn Jenner was mostly a cis man who realized later in their life that they would be transitioning. Most trans women don't have that experience. They actually grow up very effeminate because you grow up knowing I'm a woman, but then society tells you a man can't be a woman and all that stuff. So you learn to like negotiate and stance yourself in a certain position, but most times we're very effeminate and you're teased for being effeminate. And that grows up with you. We experience the same, not, it's not the same experiences, but it's the same vitriol against being feminine that women get. I feel like we're very, um, we're cleaned off the wall. There's systemic ways that have been really built up to keep us out of public spaces. We're not really visible, especially on TV though, I'll tell you that, especially on TV. You don't have trans voices in South Africa. There's some progressive countries in the world. Why are people still not accepting and afraid of why they're still afraid of trans women? I think because we don't have representation, it goes back to the same issue of we're not given enough space to be able to actually get to know us. People don't know us. That's why they're afraid of us because it's a lack of representation. They don't know who they're dealing with. And we're not included in these narratives and in, the, in these powerful stories that we tell. We're not really visible. So when you get to see this person in your life and you've never seen them and you've never known how to engage with them, I mean we've only recently been having women such as LeVan Cox, but for the most part you only get trans women in porn. It's in porn, it's sexualized and that's the only time you get to actually see that there is such a thing as a trans woman. There is such a language in the world, there is such a way of existing. That is such a deep. It's deep. of the people who witnessed their launch in South Africa. If you wanted to be part of the movement, you could go and film yourself in front of the camera dancing. We watched the film, mini clip thingy on YouTube, and so many people were repeated in just that five minutes of that shot that we were erased in such an incredible way that you couldn't identify our faces. It's very dark, like I found it that it awakened feelings of hopelessness. It's like how black women have been only viewed as sexual beings. Like that's why when you type stuff such as um, white sexy mom, and I, it is something that you, everybody should actually Google. You get moms, you actually get women who are dressed and they dignified and then when you type in black sexy mom you get sexualized fetishes and all of the links lead to a porn site so the fact that black men have been engaging with black women in a sexual is because of like there's been limited narratives of representation and whereas for white women there's so many ways that you get to know a white woman you get to know the dumb white woman you get to know the smart white woman who works in a law firm you, you get to know the housewife who's just like nope i'm not into that and she they're all just such positive narratives you know whereas to the black female there's always that anger there's always that and you know anger somehow low-key has been traced to like animalism and sex. It's problematic and it makes sense that only now that Viola Davis is only winning incredible awards and having such pioneering uh, um, narratives to tell and such different stories to tell, it's only now because there's always been a very limited voice. It's incredible how also at the same time, black women knowing very, the, at the very core that they haven't had voices, they still try to marginalize and dictate other black women, particular trans women's voices and what they can express. But there is hope. 
there is definitely hope in terms of the conversations people are having on Twitter. Intersectional feminism as a, a branded language of valid feminism has been one of the most progressive things we can have because it is exactly the type of feminism that should be existing now. It is the only type of feminism for that matter. If we can just understand that, that we intersect as identities regardless of how different we are, then we've discovered the one thing we've been missing the entire time. Thank you.